Psalm 130, today's edition of Morning Cup of Courage. I'm John here through the Torches Media. Thank you all so much for joining us as we go through scripture together, doing our best to receive the courage, the courage that our Heavenly Father blesses us with and walking in that courage. All right, so once again, Psalm 130, really quickly. This is another song, a song of ascending, going up the mountain. One of 15 or so songs of ascending, going up the mountain, the city of peace, Jerusalem. And for me, once again, Torch Tribe, this is about growing closer step by step in spiritual maturity, closer in a relationship with our Heavenly Father. Now, Psalm 130 is a psalm about Israel seeking forgiveness and redemption for their iniquities. And so I certainly don't want to take that for granted. At the very end of the psalm, we see where our Heavenly Father, God of Israel, He redeems Israel. He redeems His people. And so redemption is certainly something that we should take note of, Torch Tribe. How important is forgiveness? How important is redemption? How have we treated others in that regard? Have we forgiven others? Have we redeemed others in a sense and that we can cover for them? So just a couple of things to think about, Torch Tribe. But what really caught my eye in this particular psalm is the verse about, and I can't remember what, what verse exactly it was, what number, but it was, my soul awaits for the Lord more so than the watchman waiting for the morning. More so, yes, more so than the watchman waiting for the morning. It says it twice there. More so than the watchman waiting for the morning. So my soul awaits for the Lord. And so I was thinking about that and how important it was, a watchman's duty was, the watchman on the wall in Ezekiel, right? You guys are pretty familiar with that, I would imagine. So the watchman's job was extremely important in Israel. And waiting for the morning, this guy, for the most part, a lot of these guys were tired. They were so eager for the morning to come so they could actually get some rest. All right, so it, it reminds me also of the Messiah and his disciples falling asleep around him in the garden. The Garden of Gethsemane, I believe, where they fell asleep. And he's like, man, you got to be on watch. And so just think about that torch job. I'm trying to correlate this here. My soul awaits for the Lord more so than the watchman waiting for the morning. And so, wow, that's extremely powerful. How powerful do we actually wait for the Lord? Do we yearn for the Lord? So that's what I am meditating upon, Torch Tribe. My soul yearning to have that deeper connection with Adonai, with yod heh with the Almighty. My soul yearning for a deeper connection with our Heavenly Father. You guys be amazingly blessed, and I hope to see you soon. Shalom.